superficial cutaneous mycosis. These are the fungal infections involving skin, hair, nail and mucosa. Example of superficial mycosis are Piedra, Tinea nigra, Tinea vesicola and Dermatophytosis. Other than this, the other type of uh, fungal infections are subcutaneous mycosis, systemic mycosis and opportunistic mycosis. Today we will study about Dermatophytosis which is one of the superficial fungal infection. Dermatophytosis are caused by a group of keratinophilic fungi that means these are the fungi which love the keratin layer of the skin example dermatophytes infection of keratinized structures of skin hair and nail are called dermatophytic infections these can be either acute or chronic they are also called ringworm infection or tinea the characteristics of dermatophytosis are they, are, they have a hyaline filamentous fungi that digest keratin by enzymatic means the pathological changes in the host are due to the fungi itself and also its metabolic products. There are three genera in dermatophytes. They are Trichophyton, Microsporum and Epidermophyton. Immunology of Dermatophytosis The host response plays a major role in the pathogenesis. Acute inflammatory response in the host is due to cell-mediated immunity. This cell-mediated immunity is expressed as delayed hypersensitivity reaction to dermatophyte antigen. Large amount of exoenzymes are released which help in fungal spread. Allergic response also plays a role. Depending on the habitat, the dermatophytes are divided into zoophilic which infects animals and birds, anthropophilic which infects, infects exclusively humans and geophilic which are isolated from the soil. These are the examples of species under each different type. Under anthropophilic, we have Trichophyton rubrum, Trichophyton mentigraphytes, Trichophyton shonleni, Trichophyton tonsurans and violaceae, and Microsporum adoni and Epidermophyton flocosum. Zoophilic species are Trichophyton equinum and Microsporum canis. Geophilic are Microsporum gypsum and Microsporum fulvin. The other ones are uh, trichophyton concentricum which are anthropophilic, trichophyton mentigraphytes, microsporum odoni and epidermophyton flocosum. Under zoophilic we have verrucosum, canis, microsporum equinum and microsporum persicola. Under geophilic we have trichosporum ageoli, microsporum cookie, microsporum gypsum and epidermophyton stockedin. Coming to pathogenesis. These fungi grow within the dead keratinized tissue. The keratinolytic proteases provide entry into the deeper tissues. Metabolic products spread to malfusion layer of epidermis causing erythema, vesicles, pustules and pruritus. The hyphae become old, break into arthrospores and they are shed in due time. This is the reason for causing a central clearing of the lesions. Uh, this infection is also called as tinea or ringworm depending on the site involved. Tinea in Latin means worm or moth. The annular lesion as though worm is burrowing at the margin. They look like annular lesions. Each foci of infection is due to the local inoculation and inflammation is maximum at the advancing margin because it starts clearing from the center. In order to isolate the fungi, we have to scrape the margin and also the inflammation is maximum at the advancing margin. Depending on the site, affected ringworm infection is given different names. For example, if it is affecting the foot, it is called tinea pedis. Tinea cruris, uh, in this the region affected is the groin. Tinea carporis, glabrous skin is affected. In tinea angworm, nails. Tinea capitis, scalp, eyebrow and eyelashes are affected. In tinea manum, hand is involved. The other clinical types of uh, dermatophytosis are favus. The favors which is caused by tinea shonleni, rarely trichophyton, sorry, trichophyton shonleni, rarely violaceum and gypsum. Tinea capitis caused by trichophyton species and microsporum species, the different types. Kirion is caused by tri trichophyton verrucosum and mentigraphytes. Tinea barbe by rubrum, mentigraphytes and verrucosum. Similarly, uh, tinea crudis by epidermophyton flocosum, trichophyton rubrum and mentigraphytes. Tinea pedis by rubrum, mentigraphytes and flocosum. You can go through the table for the different examples. Coming to tinea capitis. This is the infection of the shaft of the scalp hair and it presents as inflammatory 
uh, inflammatory lesions called as kirion and favus, non-inflammatory lesions called a black dot, seborrheic dermatitis like with a grey patch. The infected hair appears dull grey, base of the hair shaft and follicular involved. You can see the lesions here. There is breakage of hair at the follicular orifice. There will be patches of alopecia and black dots of broken hair and a ring formation at the periphery. These are the lesions of Kirion, which are caused by trichophyton, varicosum and mentagraphites. Several, sorry, severely painful inflammatory lesions are seen here. You can see raised circumscribed boggy mass with multiple suppurations, that is pus forming lesions. And it may have a sinus formation also. There will be thick crusting with matting of adjacent hairs. And there can be patchy alopecia. It is more common in children. Favus. Favus is seen sporadically and there are crust-like lesions called as cutula around the infected follicles. These are the crusty lesions. It is the Latin word for honeycomb. The fungal growth within the hair is minimal and they remain intact. But around the hair follicles, growth is very intense and produces waxy, honeycomb-like crust on the scalp, which leads to alopecia and scarring. Coming to ectotrix and endotrix infection. Under ectotrix infection, we have arthrospores appear, appearing as mosaic sheath around the hair. Whereas in endotrix infection, the hyphae form within the hair shaft, weakening the shaft. The cuticle of the hair remains intact in ectotrix. In endotrix, cuticle of the hair is destroyed. The hyphae invades the shaft at the mid follicle in ectotrix and arthrospores are in chains filling inside the shortened hair stubs. Whereas in ectotrix, when the hair grows out of the follicle, uh, the hyphae burst out of the shaft and cover the hair surface with small arthrospores. So you can see here, these are the ecto ectotrix infection. Here arthrospores appear as mosaic sheath around the hair. The cuticle of the hair is intact. Examples are Microsporum odoni, Microsporum canis and Trichophyton mantagraphite. Under endotrix infection, we have hyphae form within the hair shaft, weakening the shaft. Cuticle of the hair is destroyed. Arthrospores fill the shortened hair stub. Trichophyton tonsrons and Trichophyton violaceum are the examples causing endotrix infection. Tinea carporis. So this is the picture showing lesions of tinea carporis. Most of the glabrous skin of the body are involved and it's the most common type of tinium. You have well demarcated annular ring shaped blocks with central clearing and raised edges. Pruritic scaly lesions are seen. There are variants of tinea carporis like tinea indicata. This is the unusual form of tinea carporis where concentric ring of scales are spread out peripherally over many years. This uh, covers the hairless skin but rarely involves the nail, palm and sole. Intense pruritus may lead to lichenification also. It's more common in rural areas. Tinea gladiotrum, it is more common in wrestlers where the, it spreads by direct contact uh, from skin to skin. The lesions are seen on the arms, trunk, head and neck which are areas of maximum contact in the wrestlers. An outbreak of the skin uh, if the infection is also reported and tinea uh, trichophyton transference is the commonest isolate. Tinea incognito. The use of steroids will mask the sign and symptoms which often improve uh, and offer improvement initially but later there will be, uh, be flaring up of the lesions. So steroids decrease the resistance of the host and also suppress the inflammation. Tinea barbe. So this is also called as barber's itch. It uh, mainly affects the bearded and uh, mustache of the face and uh, erythematous patches on the face show scaling, fragile lusterless lustre hair are seen and there will be development of folliculitis and fungal invasion of the coarse hair is seen. Trichophyton varicosum and mentagraphites are the causative agents. Tinea facei, it occurs in non-barbed regions of the face. Agents vary according to the geographical area and the higher history of photosensitivity is present. Tinea cruris or the jocks itch, it occurs worldwide and more in the tropical countries. There is infection of the groin, perineum, perianal skin, scrotum and may spread to the inner third of the buttocks and thighs. Border of lesion are well delineated and will tear the matter's blocks. Coming to tinea pedis, it is also called as athlete's foot. It is seen in the area of the foot which is, uh, which is warm, moist, 
and wearing shoe for a long time is one of the precipitating factor. Types of tinea pedis are interdigital, ulcerative, vesicular and mucosian type of tinea pedis. You can see the white colored lesions in between the digits. Tinea angwam. The nail plate is involved here and it is common in adults. Infection begins under the free edge of the nail plate or along the lateral fold. The whole nail is destroyed. Subungual debris are deposited under uh, the nail with opaque chalky thickened nail. There is inflammation around the nail called as paronychia. Poor peripheral circulation can lead to resistance to treatment. So these are the different types of onychomycosis. You can see the deposition of the chalky like deposits under the skin and here the whole nail is destroyed. Now coming to lab diagnosis of dermatophytic infection. So these are all the collection instruments which are required to collect a sample for dermatophytic infection. So the first thing which is done is KOH mount for fungal elements. It is a very simple and reliable method. So how to collect the sample? First skin is disinfected with alcohol. Then skin scrapings are taken, uh, nail clippings and hair stubs are uh, utilized as samples. Skin is scraped from center to periphery because as we already discussed there is uh, clearing of the lesion in the center. So we won't get the representative sample from the center. So the periphery of the lesion should be scraped. Vesicles and bullae are clipped. The basal root of the hair is plucked. You should not pluck the hair from the uh, tip or from the middle. It should always be plucked from the base so that the hair follicle is involved. So these are the different steps involved in the collection of uh, nail samples. So here you can see that the nail, the whatever the collection is there under the nail, it is scraped using these instruments. So using these instruments, it is scraped. This also you can see the collection of the scrapings of the nail, which is collected on the piece of black paper. This is also a type wherein using a blunt end of the scalpel, the depositions are the deposits are collected and here we can see that the nail is clipped from the base and collected in a black colored paper using a, a, a swab also we can collect the sample. These are the pictures showing collection of skin scrapings. So using this instrument the skin can be scraped from the periphery and so here also we can see that the after scraping the skin the sample is collected using a swab and here these are the skin scrapings collected on a petri dish and these are sent to the laboratory for KOH mount. Hair should always be epilated using tweezers from the root and it should never be cut. Hair brush sampling technique. Material form minimal lesions obtained by brushing the scalp with sterile plastic hair brush or massage pad. They are inoculated onto appropriate fungal culture medium by pressing the brush or pad spines into the agar. Lab diagnosis of dermatophyte infection. KOH mount is done which are keratinolytic. 10% is used for skin infection, 20% for hair and 40% for nail infection. The nail samples take a longer time and hence a higher concentration should be used. Heating will hasten the process. So under KOH mount we can observe branching hyaline mycelia and arthrospores. Ectothrix and endothrix infection can be differentiated. So this is a picture seen in a KOH mount. These are the fungal elements. You can see these different hyphae, the branching hyphae are seen. These are the fungal elements. The arthrospores are seen in this picture. Coming to the culture, the three genera of dermatophytes are recognized based on the morphology of the micro and macro conidia. The different types of uh, structures are spiral hyphae, racket hyphae, nodular organ, pectinate body and favic chandelier. The media used for culture is Seberon's dextrose agar SDA. SDA with antibiotics and cyclohexamide is used. There is another media called as dermatophyte test medium which contains a phenol red indicator. So this is trichophyton rubrum culture on SDA. We can see the white velvety fluffy colony and if you see the back side there will be the reverse. The reverse will show a red colored pigment. It, is, it, it has a moderate to slow growth and the microscopy of trichophyton rubrum shows clavate or tear drop microconidia. So we can see the 
teardrop microconidia and they are arranged in the form of bird on fence. So it's called bird on fence appearance. These are the small microconidia and we can see numerous long pencil shaped macroconidia. These are the pencil shaped macroconidia. Next is Trichophyton shondleni. These are also slow growing. They have a waxy or sued like appearance with a deeply folded honeycomb like thallus. You can see a honeycomb like structure here uh, in the obverse which is, uh, which is cream or yellow orange in color. In the reverse there is no pigmentation. Coming to microscopy, there are no macroconidia and microconidia. We can see antler nail head appearance and also favic chandelier. So this is called as favic chandelier appearance. Next is trichophyton mantographite. These are cream colored flat with a central ambonate. You can see the uh, depression here that is called central ambonate or a slight folding. It has a sewed like or a downy surface which may become powdery around the periphery with age. The important fact, the important identification factor here is the spiral hyphae. So these are the spiral hyphae. We can see abundant microconidia in grape-like clusters and macroconidia which, which are smooth walled, clay-bed, pencil shaped and these are the spiral hyphae which are present in mantographites. Microsporum gypsium. These are flat spreading, sued like with granular appearance. The reverse is the reverse shows a yellow brown pigmentation often with a central dark, col dark color and on microscopy we, we can see a symmetrical ellipsoidal appearance which are thin walled with 4 to 6 celled macroconidia. There are numerous clavate shaped microconidia are also present. Epidermophyton flocosum is a slow growing fun uh, dermatophyte with a greenish brown or cocky colored uh, structure, sewed like surface raised and folded in the center. The reverse shows a deep yellowish brown pigmentation. On microscopy, we can see a smooth thin walled macroconidia which often produced in clusters growing directly from the hyphae and there are no microconidia. You can see only macroconidia in epidermophyton flocosum. Other than these, the other lab diagnostics other than culture are hair perforation test. To differentiate between trichophyton mentographites and trichophyton rubrum and microsporum canis from microsporum equinum. So this test is positive when a wedge shaped perforation is seen in the hair. It is positive in trichophyton mentographites and microsporum canis, negative in trichosporum rubrum and microsporum equinum. Urea test. Trichophyton mentographite hydrolyzes urea wherein it turns the medium deep red. In trichophyton rubrum it is negative. Under Woods lamp examination there is a fluorescence which is seen due to Tyridine. It is useful in screening. Immunodiagnosis. Skin test is done with dermatophytic antigen. It produces a positive delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Immunodiffusion is also used for diagnosis. PCR can also be used uh, as a part of molecular analysis. What is it reaction? It is a secondary eruption in sensitized tinea patients wherein we can see circulation of allergenic products from primary site of infection. Fungal products are absorbed into the blood, itching is the only symptom. Morphological features and site of lesions are variable. Now treatment and prophylaxis. The disappearance of all the lesions on each nail or residual disease of no more than 10% of the original lesion is defined as clinical cure. Mycological cure is negative culture or negative microscopy. Topical application of azole derivatives, Whitfield ointment, tolnaftate, uh, are used in all types of fungal infection and oral grace of alvin 10 mg per kg for skin and so for nail and scalp infections. Chronic infections need about 3 to 6 months of treatment. For onychomycosis, uh, itraconazole and terbenafine are used. Safety profile is excellent for these two. Cause of, course of therapy is 6 weeks for skin lesions, 12 weeks for hair lesions and 12 months for nail lesions. Itraconazole and terbenafine are given as pulse therapy. Thank you.